All right, y'all, we hopping right into this. It's early, 9 a.m. Somehow, some way, I'm almost at $1,000 this week. I've only worked three days and some change. So I worked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I did the Thursday dinner shift. Thursday dinner shift doesn't really count because all the other days were 10 hours, 10 hours, and 12 hours. Yeah, I need to make $288, close to 300, and we're at 1,000. I'm gonna try to knock it out. It's a Saturday, starting the shift at 9 a.m. First order is 29.50 for 17.4 miles. The only thing about this Party City order though, 45 balloons. I'm in a small car, I don't know how that's gonna work. We got the balloons. Definitely not as bad as I thought. I didn't even know. So apparently, sometimes they split the orders up into two. It says that I'm supposed to have 45 balloons, but she's saying somebody else came and took half the order, and then I just take that, and then I'm good. So we gonna trust the girl. I don't know if she's telling the truth, but yeah, we gonna see. Oh, there she goes. I gave him a tip, but, okay. you know, Thank I, you. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're going to do with it at Party City. You better call. <laughs> Thank you. W lady, man. She just gave me a $10 tip, so $40 in the first hour. Let's go. $40 in the first hour. I don't expect it to be like that all day, you know what I'm saying? There's no way we average $40 an hour for the whole day, but for the morning, 9 a.m., $40 in the first hour, that's lit. This might be the easiest shift that I've ever done. Every order is just great right now. So, on the way, drop off this grocery order, six items, $15. To be honest, I don't even know what the total of the shift is right now that we're at, because when you do DoorDash, you know, they tell you everything right away, but Uber Eats be delayed, so I'm probably somewhere over 100. I don't know, we'll recap. Once I take the lunch break, 145 right now, so maybe at like 2.33 ish, I'll go get some food. I don't know yet. I love Uber. Like literally right after I did that uh, drop off, $15 for 2.6 miles, they gave me another one that was like $7 for two items. I mean, it was four miles, but still $7, pretty cool. But then sometimes they just send these outrageous dickhead ass orders, bro. $6 for 21 miles. Who's doing that? And then they sent me another one that was $14 for 30 miles. They want me to go from Maryland to Virginia all the way to DC. And then you expect me to come back to Maryland, bro? Like, I, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. And then they tried to double back and send me the same order that was $6 for 22 miles now. I'm even further. They want to send me that one. For lunch, we got Chick-fil-A. $12.04 for some chicken nuggets and fries. Chick-fil-A got strawberry lemonade. That should be torch. Normally I go to Sam's Club for lunch. Get a little $2.50 combo. Get the, a big ass slice of pizza and a large drink. Can't beat it, but they gave me a free five nuggets or something. So I was like, all right, whatever. We'll just go to Chick-fil-A. Dashing just really hasn't been part of the lifestyle right now. As far as content wise, I haven't dropped like in 20 something days. The whole February, y'all know, I be filming for Peaks. If you don't know, yeah, I be filming for Peaks. The last 10 videos or 11 videos on his channel. We've been traveling like crazy. We went to Tampa. We went to New York four times this month. Jersey, Philadelphia. We've been going everywhere. I really haven't been on the Uber Eats and Dashing. To be honest, this video, I didn't even think I was gonna make this video. Like this week, we kind of slowed down on filming. We only went out once. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, went crazy on the Dash or Uber Eats for real. The Dash kind of is just there. Thursday, I only hit the dinner shift barely. Friday, we went to film a video in Philly. Today is Saturday. I figured if on Wednesday I hit 270 ish dollars, I could definitely do that on a Saturday. So like I said, we're trying to hit 300 today. Right now, we're somewhere around 130, 140. It's 3 p.m. If I stay out here till like 9 p.m. tonight, I'm definitely gonna make 300 today. So I don't plan on going home and we're gonna run it up thousand dollars in basically four days on the dash and uber eats 
I didn't end up filming the night shift. I was on the phone with my friend. He was driving home from North Carolina, seven hour drive. Didn't want to leave him hanging. We ended up making $1,017.25 in about 46 hours on the road. I drove a total of 630 miles. Expenses wise, I spent $41.23 on gas. I also did eat out a few times, but I don't really care. I have a different income, but to make almost $1,000 in four days, it's pretty lit. Obviously it was a lot of work though, 10 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts. Um, you know, if you got a family and shit, that might not be the move. A lot of people be like, oh, it wasn't net profit. At the end of the day, if I would've worked another day, five days, you know, I put the Sunday in. I didn't even work today. I was just chilling. Um, if I would have worked this Sunday, I could have made another $300, $400. So I think the streets are starting to heat back up. Who knows? Maybe I just got lucky. Let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know how y'all markets are. And yeah, maybe I'll drop more DoorDash vlogs. Me and Peek's been filming a lot. So I don't know how much I'm going to drop on here or if I'm going to drop other stuff. Who knows? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and catch you in the next one.